Greetings, adventurers, and welcome back to the quest. Whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you are, I hope you're doing well. We're playing Lies of P. I didn't do an intro, so I'm doing it now. Uh, this is a blind playthrough, a fresh playthrough. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. We're compiling shaders. So I don't know much about this game. I know it's called... Or that people call it Pinocchio Souls. That's really it. Probably gonna play with the controller. Whoops. AMD, together we advance. It's like a clock heart in the menu there. In honor of the great writer Carlo Allodi. Probably didn't say that Can right. You hear me? Geppetto's puppet. We need your help. Okay, so this is literally the Pinocchio universe. <laughs> I love a start like that. Just right into it, dude. Left arm of steel. Getting like bloodborne vibes wow. already. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. I'm on like a train, it would appear. Seeing if I could interact with anything else. I'm guessing this is what it wants me to do. Gemini. I see my name is Sophia. Whoops. Please come to Hotel Crot and I'll explain what's happening. Gemini, please escort him to the hotel. Gemini? Use belt. Select upper belt, lower belt. Use the select. Ah, uh, selected belt. Item. Extra bag by holding A, and that's like Elden Ring. Does it just stay lit up? Nice. Not sprint at the moment. Or roll. Now we got like puppet show posters. Get the most loyal servant. Let's get you out of there. Find something that might help. Yes. Let's. With one of the weapons oh, a weapon bed. choice. It'll be helpful on your way to the hotel. Path of the Cricket, which is Balance. Path of the Bastard, which is Dexterity. Path of the Sweeper, which is Strength. Let's do Strength. Destination Hotel Court. Recommend escaping from this location. L, B, and Y do something at some point. Doesn't look like you can do it. I also can't do the Y combo. 
on the bottom right of the screen there. I got a guard I can lock on. Do I have multiple weapons? No. Oh, weapon durability. Is it the bar on the top there, I guess? I'm guessing it'll tell me. Also, this arm is pretty sweet. Right, row Shit went down out here. Why was I on a train? Okay, now I can roll. And sprint. Got my stamina bar up there. And like three other bars that'll be used for something. Oh, is. Okay, so this is like a. Little, uh. What am I trying to say? A figurine or something? Like from Santa's workshop. Looks like Geppetto went a little crazy in this universe. Oh, that's a two hit combo. Uh, what about the guard? Okay, I still take damage. <laughs> Although it looks like I recovered health. What did I just pick up? Character will die if you use this. <laughs> oh, here we go. Sawtooth wheel. A cogwheel that is common sight in Krat. It can be thrown to draw an enemy's attention. Okay, so it's like a pebble or something. From Bloodborne. I really like the ambience so far. Wow, I'm really young looking. I guess I just imagined this dude as being older. Pulse Cell. Use a pulse cell to recover HP. There is a maximum number of times pulse cells can be used. When you reach the maximum, the cell will be discharged. If you attack enemies while the cell is discharged, pulse cell will be gradually charged. Okay. That's cool. Is everything I can pick up glow? Oh shit. Is that boss number one over there, maybe? Krat Grand Exhibition 18XX. Oh. Witness the greatest show on Earth. Experience the future of the world. Getting some, like, Bioshock vibes, too. Rear dodge. Oh. While I'm locked on. Yeah, okay. Interesting. The second hit didn't land. I guess because he was too far away. Dim ergo fragment. Everything became useful in battle in the Paralyzed City is the last bit of the Sawtooth Wheel. I'm now realizing that the item descriptions in this game probably matter. Fragment of Ergo, a mysterious power stone that can be found in Krat. 
Uh, Geppetto's puppets can absorb Ergo and turn it into power. Ergo is both a power source and a currency in Krat. Even small pieces can be put to good use in the city. Got the pulse cell. Pulse cells are Ergo? Ergo? Cells that power the P organ. They work with stargazers and they can also convert the energy from an attack's impact to recharge. To those in battle, the grinder is their lifeline. The sharpness of their blade can mean life or death. Yeah, this is the uh, repair thing I keep using. Use a grinder to repair your weapons. When durability falls to zero, attack decreases and the weapon cannot be repaired with a grinder. Thus, it is advised to keep an eye on the durability gauge. Interesting. Increases brightness upon use. This lamp here. So, I guess maybe you can get them fixed somewhere else, though, is what that implies. The weapons, if they break. A small lamp with a cricket guide puppet inside, and illuminates the darkness with a faint light. Do not be afraid, even if you get lost in the fog, the cricket guide will be with you. This is the last resort thing. Uh, immediate character death upon use. A special device that releases all of the P organ's energy at once dies upon use. The old man feared the possibility of his son failing to awaken properly and going into a frenzy. This initialization device was made as a necessary evil for delicate readjustments. Is that the cricket talking to me? I think it is. You can block enemy attacks by guarding. Use his stamina. The reduced damage will be transferred to guard regain. Guard regain accumulates but gradually decreases over time. While you have guard regain, you can attack enemies to recover HP. Oh, it's just like Bloodborne. Oh, it's very similar. If a guard succeeds right after being hit, it triggers a perfect guard. If a guard succeeds right before being hit, it triggers a perfect guard. When a perfect guard is successful, you will not receive damage, only stamina is consumed. You can use perfect guards to destroy an enemy's weapon or put the enemy in staggerable status. So it's like a perfect parry, huh? Um... That was cool. Destroy an enemy's weapon with the perfect guard. Um, how do I... Oh, I just keep scrolling down, okay. He was already on, why did you tell me to turn you on? <laughs> Freaking cricket. So does that blue bar mean I can recover health? No. It is just going up though. Got another sawtooth the wheel. I see you, pal. Oh! <laughs> I thought he was going to wait for me to keep moving. <laughs> that one got me, for sure. Thermite. Thermite bomb that can be thrown inflicts fire damage in an area. After the puppet frenzy, people begin... After the puppet frenzy, people began to fashion weapons of resistance in their desperation. Many throwable weapons were manufactured, and these exhibited excellent results against their marching enemies. The puppet frenzy. Does my weapon have a description?
A great sword blade made by refashioning a soldier puppet's weapon. Even when used as a bayonet, its unique bend keeps it from interfering with firing. Stalkers who have survived life or death situations can see the threads of prey. These threads are the sticky spiderwebs of obsession that say that they say are clear the stronger the puppet is. That's the blade. That's the handle. A standard greatsword handle made by the workshop. It is sturdy since it was made with the Krat Workshop special techniques. The workshop gathered monsters... Monster sweepers to face the unprecedented crisis. They lived up to their reputation, eating up monsters and becoming monsters in their own right. Left hand parts made of metal. It throws forward strong functions. Left hand parts made with exquisite detail. They do not have special powers. Geppetto's name is faintly engraved on them. This legion arm cannot be modified. This is very similar to Bloodborne. Can I dual wield? Oh, I can use the stuff on the bottom right now that my bar is filled up. Okay, okay, that's cool. Probably should have waited to use it, but whatever. Um, so I picked up... Defense parts. These are my... I was gonna say clothing, but I guess not. Interesting. I don't think I can dual wield. Or not dual wield. Um, two hand. I was looking at this. Extra bag. I can still put stuff on my upper belt, too. Let's put this here. Oh, rear fatal attacks from behind an enemy. Did I not do that right? That one guy specifically really pissed him off. It's pretty intimidating having to hear that the entire time I'm running around. Passenger's note. If anyone finds this note, get out of the station and run. Be sure to steer clear of the waiting room. I saw a huge puppet smashing people to death in there. Yeah, I've seen that guy. I locked the door, but I don't know if that'll work. At least it should stop people from randomly coming in. I'm going to die soon, so I want to help you even if it's not much. Please survive. Anyone. You know, I'm trying. Wild. Oh no, it's got this shitty jump mechanic. <laughs> Is it telling me to jump down there? No way. Completely whiffed that one. These guys are fast. doesn't seem too difficult, but then again, these are 
the base enemies. Dim Ergo Fragment. I already looked at that one. Was that the quick save? I think so. It appears like over where the info is. I guess maybe I should move my head down. There we go. I'm really bad about that. So I'm definitely getting close to this dude. Lock device. There are doors and ladders all throughout Krant that are locked by devices. You can unlock these doors or go down the ladders to create shortcuts. Classic. I think I keep missing because uh, I'm not locking on. Right, this is like where I first came in. I do think this is going to be a boss fight. I mean, one of the chances this isn't a boss fight. Hello, guy. Are you a boss? No? Ow. 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 Holy shit. <laughs> I thought I blocked the first one. And I just kind of let him keep hitting me. What is this? What did that do? What did that do? What did that do? <laughs> okay, this is not easy. Sarah will hold for charge attack while you're attacking. A white outline will appear around the enemy's HP bar. When this happens, you can make the enemy staggered with a charge attack or with fable arts. Ah. Fail attacks. Face a staggered enemy. RB. Nice. Like a repost or whatever you want to call it. Okay, I got a key. What else did I get? Did I look at this? Catalysts made puppets more efficient by circulating ergo energy within their bodies. This groundbreaking invention was based on one alchemist's idea. Made to supplement abilities. Did I get, like, a weapon from that guy or something? Maybe? What did he drop? Is that what he dropped? What am I looking at here? This is the basic frame. This is the lightweight frame. This item was made in the Puppet Workshop for the purpose of improving strength while eliminating the weight increase as much as possible. However, its weight is significantly greater than the standard version. I do think that's what I got from this guy. Another sawtooth wheel. So I get to level up soon.
Where did my sword go? Oh shit! The reveal. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Pratt Central Station Plaza, rainy night. Is this a bonfire? Stargazer activated. Use a stargazer for fully recovering HP and stamina as well as charging your pulse cells. You will be revived at this point in case of death. Remember, this process also revives enemies, not just your character. This is called a stargazer. A marvelous device the stalkers used in the past. As we are, we are not strong enough to beat the puppets. But if I lend my power to this stargazer for a moment, gather ergo, clever one. This stargazer will make you stronger. But the stargazer's strength doesn't last forever, so be careful with it. Hurry up and come to Hotel Krat. The stargazer's strength doesn't last forever? What does that mean? Got vitality, vigor, capacity, motivity, technique, and advance. Vitality is what it sounds like. Vigor is what it sounds like. And capacity is what it sounds like. Okay, so motivity is physical attack. And so is technique. I'm guessing technique is dexterity? Advance is legion. <laughs> uh, hold on. Does my weapon scale with something? It scales with motivity and secondary techniques, so I do think that motivity is what I want for the strength build. Also, why is it red? Why does it show up red? Whatever. How many levels do I got? Two? We're doing double strength. Use store, uh, just because that's what I had. Highlighted, that's why it's red. Okay. So do- I don't have a map, right? I don't think so. Which I'm okay with. I like maps, on the one hand, in games. But sometimes it can be annoying having to look at a map all the time. Ow. Oh my god, is that a dog? No! <laughs> Mechanical dogs, why? Did FromSoft have a hand in this game, bro? What item does it want me to use? That's a consumable. That's a throwable. Yeah, I guess it's just telling me that. I haven't really used my uh, left arm of steel either. Let's try that. You guys want to taste my arm of steel? Oh! -ho -ho! <laughs> I dig it. I'm definitely stronger now, obviously, because I leveled up, but it is noticeable. This looks like it's going to be a shortcut. 
I still don't think I'm doing that sneak attack correctly. Hello, guys. That's really satisfying. I like doing that. Sawtooth wheel. Okay, fine. I will try and throw one of these things, because it's giving me a bunch of them. Does it say... It's literally just to draw an enemy's attention. Though. Yeah, it's almost certainly a shortcut, right? There's a dog on my left. So, can I shoot stuff? What does this do? Link slash absolute defense. Okay, it has something to do with improving my defense. I see the shield now. Oh, is that... Wait a minute. Is that what gives me... Health? No. I just get health if I block and then attack, right? Let's try it. Yeah, okay, okay. So it's Bloodborne, but you have to block. It's, uh... What was it called in that game? Visceral? Maybe? Nice. Getting a lot of fabled catalysts. Or maybe not? Rapidly charges Fable. It's felt like I picked up way more than three of those. Craft times issue 183. The Krat... I said, I guess I said craft. The Krat Grand Exhibition has been delayed. This decision was made to protect the citizens until the puppet frenzy that has recently paralyzed the city is under control. Uh, the occurrence began on Rosa Isabel Street, resulting in hundreds of casualties. While the cause is still unknown, the number of casualties and the scale of damage are both growing. As the crisis dragged on, the workshop and the Venegi Company, Krat's largest, largest puppet factory, announced that they would offer emergency supplies to citizens and do everything they could to alleviate the situation. A task force is investigating the possibility of a fatal loss of the Grand Covenant, which is the control protocol of the workshop's puppets. However, there is no quick solution as of now, with the puppet frenzy resulting in more casualties. As the city braces for a resurgence of the uh, petrification disease, the citizens were advised to stay indoors for their safety. However, many citizens are trying to escape through Krat Central Station, intensifying the general chaos. I like it, I like it. Finding story stuff. Might actually get a fair amount of information about the world from this game. We already have a lot with the items and stuff. So, I'm wondering, there's got to be NPCs in this game, right? Just kind of occurred to me. We haven't run into anybody other than puppets so far, but we're just barely in the start of the game. Is this that shortcut already? Oh, shit. I can't use it? Because it's broken? There's something?
I don't think that that's not the same game. The most loyal servants. It's like I robot too. Oh, I completely forgot about this guy. I looked at him and then ran away and completely forgot about him. I accidentally hit the attack button instead of the block button there. I feel like I might have taken increased damage for it. There's no crouch, right? All I can do is... So I can backstab? Is that... Yeah, okay. There we go. There we go. I gotta think about this as a Dark Souls game. Dim Ergo Fragment. Travel all over the world with the VN line. Oh god. Okay, I don't want to jinx myself, but these dogs don't seem so bad compared to some of the other dogs I've encountered in games like these. What was that? Oh shit, my sword. Oh shit, I used the wrong thing. What are these two again? <laughs> to obtain- Oh, they're uh... They're uh... Soul consumables. <laughs> the recent frenzy is believed to be a momentary glitch. Yeah, I don't know about that. Okay, so I, I don't think I can get to the other side of that door yet. Fury attack. Some enemies become red and use a strong attack called a fury attack. You can't dodge or guard fury attacks, but you can counter with the perfect guard. You can't dodge a fury attack? Do it again. I did not get the parry on his, uh, red attack, though. He only did it once. Optimal location for observing the destination. Oh wait, I can jump, right? But I can't, like... Okay. 
Attack enemies with a weapon to charge your pulses. I am doing that. I'm kind of hoping to do a uh, sweeping attack there. Fable arts. Use fable arts while guarding. Oh, I see. That's for the handle. It took this long to tell me about that stuff. I need health. <laughs> Could very realistically die. It's a drop attack. I guess I'll go for the backstab, because I definitely messed up the fall attack. Oh my god! <laughs> I got enough to heal. close. Here's that item. Urgent repair tool. So that's what you use. Emergency repair tool made by a Vinigi. Vin Vinigini. <laughs> An emergency repair tool. Immediately restores weapon durability. Uh, regrettably, its manufacturing facility was destroyed during the puppet's occupation, so it has become a rare item. So, that's what you use mid-fight, because you can't use this mid-fight, I guess, maybe? Or maybe it is for when your weapon completely breaks. I feel like I've got to be getting close to the first boss. The amount that they follow you in this game, I'm not used to. I'm gonna have to adapt to that. In a lot of other Souls games, you can just kind of like do this away from an enemy and they won't hit you. Why does this feel like a trap? There fake walls. There's music coming from somewhere over there. This is a shortcut, right? Cool. And this takes me right back... Uh... Okay, yeah, into this courtyard. Kinda wanna rest. Oh wait, no, there's a, uh, isn't that one of the things right there? A stargazer? 
What's the point of the shortcut if there's a stargazer right there? Okay, that's an NPC, right? What are you doing? <laughs> Hello there. Hello there. Welcome to Karat, visitor. I didn't think there were any stalkers left to fight the puppets. You didn't hear? Figures. The whole organization fell apart. All that's left are wannabes and amateurs who think they can fight on their own. You ought to buy something while you're at the festival. You can't rely on yourself alone. Out here alone? You could use some help. Here's a festival gift for you. Now get yourself something useful. A festival gift? What do we got? Throwing cell. Large output battery that can be thrown of inflicts electric blitz damage. After the puppet frenzy, people begin to fashion weapons of resistance in their desperation. Many throwable weapons were manufactured, and these exhibited excellent results against their marching enemies. Electric Blitz Abrasive. Temporarily imbues weapon with electric blitz. A special abrasive made by mixing electric blitz metal powders. Temporarily, temporarily imbues a weapon with electric blitz. Wise stalkers are prepared to face any manner of variable that comes up in battle. Abrasives are another weapon that can turn the tide on the constantly shifting battlefield. We got a Puppet's Blade. A Wintry Rapier's Blade. And a Greatsword that I have already. I'm gonna buy one of these. And screw it, I'll buy one of those too. Have anything I want to sell? Not really, right? Thanks, Pally. Does he not even hurt me? Oh, he doesn't even hurt me. He's just here to practice. I don't think killing this guy is gonna matter. <laughs> Although, I guess I might as well. Oh wait, is he getting his health back? He's getting his health back. Introducing the Parade Puppet. Here appears a terrific puppet that will enliven the parade. Introducing Parade Master, a remarkable parade puppet model from the workshop to celebrate the grand exhibition. Hello there, I am the Parade Master. I like singing and marching with people. The Parade Master has the following functions. 16 jolly songs, cheerful laughter and 54 parade phrases, parade dances to delight children, the strength to carry six men on his shoulders. Well, that's intimidating. Why do I feel like that's the boss of this area? Sesame! Uh-oh. Yep. 
<laughs> oh god. Oh, that wasn't a grab. That's good. That didn't hit me. Time for a second hit on that one. Where'd my throwables go? I thought I got the block on that one. Uh oh, phase two. Calm down, buddy. Moves are not all that highly telegraphed. Ow, bro. No! I need to hit the charge attack. I didn't get it? Are you kidding me? Oh, fuck me. Can I not get the... I have to charge it? No! <laughs> oh, lie or die. I only died because I was going for that stagger, too. That sucks. Oh, wow. This game is so forgiving. They give you your... Ergo at the beginning of the boss arena. Damn, I really wanted to do this first try. I cannot get the timing on that. slow walk away. How do I get the stagger? There we go. Oh, that was a lot of damage.
Gotcha, motherfucker. That guy was pretty easy. Kill the parade master. Really wish I had killed that guy first try, but you know, whatever. He didn't give me all that much air go. Hotel Krat, the greatest luxury. What the hell, man? Oh, this. <laughs> Talk to that guy. Greatest luxury you will ever experience. Treat yourself. To an unforgettable day. I don't know why that keeps disappearing so fast. Puppet cannot enter. Energy depleted. Okay. One more thing I should mention. The hotel security excludes puppets like you. Of course they do. So you'll have to lie to get inside. Oh. A special puppet after all. You'll have to lie to get inside. I am very intrigued by that. Just a bunch of dead puppets out here. In Moonstone. Moonstone was not from this world. Rare, uh, upgrades normal weapon blade up to three. Okay. A rare enchantment material that can be obtained in different parts of Kratz. Moonstone was not from this world. However, it was the most optimal enchantment material. Enhancement material. In their urgency, technicians pushed forward while using the Moonstone for a weapon upgrade without time to review it any further. Uh, Quartz activates a special ability when equipped to the P organ. Workshop uses this gym to bring out puppets' different abilities. So I haven't gotten to the workshop yet, I'm guessing, because I can't upgrade my weapon yet either. Let's me in. <laughs> I figured telling them I was a puppet was not the correct answer. Hotel Krat. I feel like I just got through the tutorial. Yeah. Lies. 
of P. It was supposed to be Pi. Cutscene. Or not, maybe? I'm getting like mad um, Bioshock Infinite vibes. Just got the butterfly pendant. I'm so happy to see you. I am Sophia. I've been waiting for you. Sophia. Searched all over the city of Krop to find you. You must have questions. Geppetto will have answers. But we have to find him first. He was last seen on Elysian Boulevard. All of Krat is dangerous for humans, and that neighborhood is one of the scariest. Please find Geppetto on Elysian Boulevard. I'll explain more once you find him. You can level up through Sophia using the Ergo in your position. You can increase your stats when you level up. I've already been leveling up. I think he's in shock. Jenny is fine. That's proof you're broken. The real Gemini isn't so calm. I'm no inventor, but perhaps I can fix him. Or perhaps he'll fix himself in time. Wait, take this pocket watch. Krat is a labyrinth of peril right now. This watch will guide you to a safe place. Be careful, clever one. Moon phase pocket watch. Pocket watch imbued with mystical power. Teleport to hotel or last stargazer used. Pocket watch imbued with mystical power. The power of the watch turns back time to when the boy was in peak condition. Can I level up my weapon here? Craft machine. You can get different arms, okay. It's like a little training area. That's exactly what that looks like. Are you gonna level up my gear? I heard about you from Geppetto, but to see you in person. Wow. 
You should take this. Geppetto left it with me. I should take this. Yes, give it to me. <laughs> there we go. Is that like a grapple? Legion arm is special equipment that is equipped on the left arm. Each Legion arm has its own combat ability. Legion arm can be modified in all sorts of forms. <sighs> the sound of it alone. That craftsmanship comes only from the hands of Geppetto. You must be something else. A custom arm from Geppetto himself is quite an accessory. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I am Eugenie from the Workshop Union. I know my way around weapons of all kinds. I'm sure Master Geppetto would agree. If any of your weapons need work, bring them to me. I will. I know my way around a weapon. Want me to look at something? I sure do. Can, okay, let's talk, I can talk about Stargazer, about training. A Stargazer is a survival device used by the Stalkers. It powers itself by accumulating and absorbing ergo spores in the air. The Stalkers installed Stargazers all across the city. Once they're recovered, we can put them to use. If you want to test your skills or try new techniques, head for the garden. Don't look at me like that. Everyone hates... <laughs> Okay, let's look at the handle first. Alter hand, you can bring Eugene Cranks to alter weapon handles. Each handles Eugenie <laughs> Cranks. Each handles property upgrades based on your character's default abilities. You can change this property and grade one time with a handle alteration. However, you can always reset it with a balanced crank. I don't have a crank. For that, let's upgrade the weapon. If you have Moonstone, Eugenie can help you upgrade a weapon's blade. The weapon's attack power will increase when you upgrade the blade. Some blades can only be upgraded with a special Moonstone. Well, I don't have any other weapons at the moment. Oh wait, I can't upgrade it? What do I need? Oh, I need more air go. Oh, that gives 100. Okay, I like this menu. <laughs> that seems to work pretty well. Upgrade. Now I need hidden moonstone. Cool. So you could have just walked right by that moonstone, too. That would have been unfortunate. This is the one I talked to on my way in. Vinny... Vinny... Vinny Krat Landmark Guide 1. This month's attraction, Hotel Krat. Hotel Krat is one of the city's creepiest and most mysterious buildings. According to lore, Hotel Krat is an isolated castle built by an aristocrat devoted to a form of oculism, occultism after receiving a revelation from a radiant tree. At one point, it was used as a mental institution, and some patients said they saw hallucinations. However, no records remain as they were all destroyed in a large fire. Above all, being so far underground just compounds the rumors. Some even said that it is connected to an unknown hell. But now the rumors have served to embellish the charm of Hotel Krant, which has been renovated in the latest style. As the recent rumors of the Grand Exhibition Ghost Hotel spread, more customers are actually looking to stay at the hotel. Next is a comment from the hotel owner, Miss Antonia. A ghost hotel? I've heard that more times than I can remember. But fortunately, our hotel guests are brave like lions. It's not a problem at all. 
Rating 4 out of 5, Creepy and Mystical, Best Resort in Krat. Reporter, Metaro. This guide was made with the support of Vinigeny Company, a friend of the city. Unexpected guests are welcome. We don't insist on reservations. Oh, this is the hotel owner. I am Antonia, and this is my hotel. Welcome. Oh, I knew from the moment we met that you're Geppetto's puppet. He did have a few loose screws, but Geppetto's skills are undiminished. It's a shame. He took off for Elysian Boulevard, and he never came back. If he doesn't turn up soon, we'll have to make a new coffin. <laughs> <coughs> Fine. Oh, I forgot. I was keeping this for him. Yes, give it, it to me. A long story. But I think it's better off with you. Please find that old man. And do take care of yourself out there. Somebody's memory show off clothes. People have no idea so many secrets are buried in Krat. Thanks for keeping me company. What are you curious about? I see you're here. That means you can lie. Your lives are a rare ability. You're able to choose your own path, unbound by anything. People on the outside are still afraid of puppets. Lie to protect yourself and find your path. I love it. I'm an old friend of Geppetto's. His son is like family to me. Make yourself at home. You're always welcome here at the hotel. If you have any questions, ask my butler, Polandina. So, let's... Do I have any amulets? I do not. Can I get any new stuff in this regard? No. I did get this. That can release a wire. It can be strung around an enemy to drag it towards you or move you toward it. Stalkers devised a tool that increases their mobility during combat with puppets. The wire instantly narrows the distance between one and one's enemy, but it cannot guarantee one's safety afterwards. That's cool. I like that. And so this guy just gave me... Someone's memory. The uniform of a sophisticated and dignified boarding school. These clothes have been worn before. The uniform of a boarding school famous in Krat... The initial M is engraved on an elegant brooch. Sure, what does the other one say? Every day attire that can be worn casually, it is imbued with someone's kind of consideration. It is a casual attire, but made for a sturdy from a sturdy material. The old man was thorough when it came to his son's clothes in anticipation of the rarest of disasters. This is like the... <laughs> The shrine, Firelink Shrine. Crop. My name is Polandina, butler to Lady Antonia. Please let me know how I may be of service. At Hotel Krat, comfort and calm walk hand in hand. Welcome to Hotel Krat. How may I be of service? The Grand Covenant is a set of absolute commands imprinted on puppets when they are made. First law, all puppets must obey their creator's commands. Second law, 
A puppet may not harm humans. Third law. A puppet protects and serves humans and the city of Kraft. Fourth law. A puppet cannot lie. I've told you about the laws engraved upon every puppet. Do you require anything else? Obviously something went wrong there. That really does sound like iRobot. What do you got? Catalyst Legion Magazine? Polymer filling that activates a Legion Arm specific ability. It can be implanted in a Legion Arm to charge Legion rapidly. Polymer bullets that are used in Legion Arms were developed in collaboration with Vinigny Works. These bullets undergo a chemical reaction inside the Legion Arm and turn into different substances like fire, electricity, or acid. Great fortune to all visitors, rest for all travelers, blessing to all friends. So, this is a shortcut. I need something street entrance key. Rosa street entrance key or something. It's interesting, it tells you what you need. It's locked tight. Not on all of them, though. Was that like the first Thanksgiving? to purchase items from her? Is that why it's telling me that all of a sudden? Like an item I need? Oh, interesting. New area. I guess that makes sense since I was in the Firelink Shrine. Elysian Boulevard entrance on our path to find Geppetto. Hey, let's be more careful. Oh, the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. I hate these guys. But don't be alarmed. My name is Gemini. We'll talk later, when we're safe. Well, you're sounding better. Gemini Crickets. Part of me wants to just step in this light to see what happens. Okay, nothing.
Who are you looking for? Hell yeah, that's so cool. I am a huge fan of that. Get over here! I could have still backstabbed him too after that. Elysian Boulevard was a regular rich people row. You wanted fancy boutiques and shops. <laughs> No place better. But that was long ago. Before the puppet frenzy. The puppet frenzy. I've heard a lot about that so far. Hi, fella. I don't know why I went for the charge attack there. <laughs> Probably not the smartest idea. I see. See what I'm looking for with those types of doors. Hey there. You get over here too. Oh, I was locked onto the wrong guy. Holy cow. Oh, it's a chest. Lot of frame. Physical damage reduction rate. Higher weight as well. Parts that enhance puppet frames can absorb physical damage. Made to order items specific to Lada, the puppet parts workshop. It has been in use for a long time, so despite being heavy, it is reliable. Is that. Am I fat rolling? No. Good. Let's try it out. I got a nice heavy frame now. Uh, we got some verticality. Ooh. Nice try, buddy. Nice try. Do I not recharge these unless they're completely empty? That's interesting. That does kind of balance it a bit. I just kind of realized that. I like that a lot. If I'd done it close enough to the edge, I'm sure he would have fallen off. Gemini's emergency protection. Gemini. Food for the cricket puppet that receives help from Gemini. When used... 
When used when there is death, ergo to reclaim it reduces the ergo loss from being hit. The Gemini model was designed so it could be fed ergo to build affinity. However, no one could have imagined that this model had another ability that was even more special. Don't worry, I'll make sure to protect you. Te protects death ergo. I am confused on that one, but maybe I'm just dumb. I feel like it's a mechanic I'm forgetting about or something. Oh, it's a shortcut uh, ladder here. Sawtooth wheel. I didn't get the pair? Nice. Legion, Legion magazine and a star fragment. Meteor fragment that can be found in different parts of Krat. It can be used at the Krak's calling in front of a boss area to summon a specter. Star fragments cross dimensions to grant human wishes. If you wish for it desperately enough, they may be able to summon someone who wants to help save the world. Oh, there's summons in this game. Very interesting. Hello? Oh, hello. You can't keep attacking to regain health like you could in Bloodborne after they're dead. Attribute resistance Empele temporarily increases attribute resistance. Uh, when used, it enhances resistance to overheat, electric shock, decay, and corruption. A robust defensive position is sometimes better than attacking. The resistance Empele was developed to raise puppets' tolerance to abnormal statuses. the window. Oh, it's a... Like a lance or something. Oh my god. Hello there, guy. Can I turn off tutorials? Guess you don't have a melee weapon if I get too close. Unfortunate for you, feller. I've played too many Dark Souls games, guy. You're gonna need to do better than that. Sharp pipe. Growing object. Passes through the enemy and inflicts piercing damage. Some throwable weapons boast great destructive power on their own. When combined with the strength of puppets, nothing more needs to be said. Okay, there's a ladder up and a ladder down? Is that a shortcut? Hold 
another electric affinity for my weapon. Feels like that's the intended direction, right? I think this is that door. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you caught me off guard and you still didn't get me. <laughs> Another star fragment. Nice. Dim ergo fragment. Where does this let out? Yeah, okay. I feel like this is a shortcut that I'm gonna miss. I don't remember it's here. Maybe not though. What was that? Was that a bird? What am I hearing? Oh, nice try, fella. Oh, I can't. Oh, I'm out of, uh, left hand attack. <laughs> oh my god. So there's definitely something over here. Wait a minute, what is this? Oh, this just circles around. Can I talk to someone in here? It almost seemed like it. This weapon builds up electric shock. How do we get up to this guy? Oh my god, he's so far away from me. That's enough of that.
Don't kill me. Um, <laughs> that guy looks really intimidating. Don't kill me when I get to the top of the ladder, please. It's not even the one I wanted. You're the guy I want. Um, uh-oh. Where did I just drop down to? <laughs> That's the big guy. Oh, there's a thing on the other side of him, too. Is that the other? Yeah. I think this is the other way. Frozen man's letter. My Luis and Charlotte, my treasure. I can't hear anything. I think the streets are already dead. Nothing but silence. I assume that I too will become just another petrified corpse soon. I still remember the sound of your singing voice and the sight. Whoops. And the sight of Charlotte looking at picture books. I miss all of it. The best thing I did when I was alive was send you and Charlotte to the cathedral for shelter. I wish this nightmare was all over. If only you and the kid could come back. But I guess now it's impossible. I love you, Luis. I pray that you're safe there. So wait, how do I use these? Oh, here we go. Got remembrance. Show off blows. Sit. And check ground. Ah, oh, look at these clothes. Look at these sweet clothes. Oh, wrong way. So I do think I am going to go ahead and put on this, I guess. Let's give it a shot. Wasn't too bad. Life amulets. An amulet that can be equipped on a puppet. Information and memories that are useful for movement can be imprinted on the symbol to draw out special powers. The slightest blink is enough to make a puppet move. Puppets do not have life, but it is enough to move them. Increases my HP. It's a fair distance, actually. It's noticeable. Oh, 
Okay, so I can fast travel. Switch Legion arm. I only have the one arm. Right? I'm Jiminy, your friendly puppet guide. Or friendly guide puppet? I don't know, one of those. I'm also a friend of Sophia's. Last time I woke up, Sophia was there because... Because she woke me up. But I'm sure there are still other memories in there. Sorry. Must be the shock. Bear with me, and I'll do my best to guide you. So I can no longer level up here. I have to go back to that lady now. <laughs> it's worth a shot. Why, hello! <laughs> I didn't know anyone was alive out here. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, but I'm not a burglar. <laughs> I'm just crashing in an abandoned house for a while. Don't worry, I won't cause any trouble. We survivors need to look out for each other. Uh, for your information, I didn't steal this. <laughs> Why don't I believe you? What is this? This is a blade? It's a blunt. Interesting. Not at this time, thank you very much. Maybe at a future date. Oh, Hotel Crad is its own thing. The Queen of High Society. That effect reminds me of Demon Souls. I'll use my power gel. Yeah, you will. Ergo is the miracle that made Krat prosper. Without Ergo, there would be no automated puppets to make Krat wealthy. Sounds like, uh... You tap into the power of Ergo with Adam you. from Bioshock. Gather more Ergo. It will make you stronger. In the folklore of Krat, a cricket often acts as a guide. That is why these automated models became popular. But Gemini is unique. He's more than just a guide. As you get more familiar with Gemini, you'll see what I mean. more familiar why did this, why did this get flagged as mature audiences whatever well, that's going to do it for the first session of uh, Live... Lies? Lies of P. Life of Pi. I like this game a lot. It's got vibes from some of my favorite games. Excited to keep going. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.